hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're returning welcome back and i know i haven't been posting videos as regularly as i am supposed to but i'm going to try and do better like this video is from january and someone had asked me to make a video on how to install soft locks while looking natural so that's exactly what we're going to do today so the first thing you're going to do is part from ear to ear and this is the first part that you will do and this is a very crucial part this will help you make the parts for the rest of the head make sure that you tell your client to look straight forward when you make this part if this part does end up being wonky or like you made it with your client's head down you will notice later on as the parts around her head will not be straight the next thing you're going to do is make parts below that line now based on how many parts you want to have on your client's head whether she booked small or medium well your personal small or medium because mine are different than other braiders um, is how you're going to part this bottom section for this hairstyle, I usually just do medium parts, and for me, that means that there's going to be two rows below the ear-to-ear -ear line. Now, if I were doing small faux locks or small soft locks or just small locks in general, I will just I will do three rows instead of two. And here you can see me cleaning up that line as it is very important because I noticed that it was a little bit off. And now you see me parting off that second row, making sure that the um, parts are very clean and just um, sectioning that off. Now, once you do that, you have the bottom row to start off with. And whenever I do soft locks, I always braid the full head first. So I'm going to go in and start making those braids. Um, I start by making a line directly down the middle. And then I divide each section into two. So the first layer for my medium um, knotless, for my medium soft locks, always has four parts. And you see me sectioning them off first before I go in and braid them so that it's a lot faster for me to get through to the braids. Now this is just something that I like to do. Whenever I do like the base section of the hair, I always part in this way, um, like that way that I just did it, like a triangle part at the bottom, so I'm able to grab the nape of the neck. And you don't have to do it that way, just make sure that you grab like the nape of the hair at the nape of the neck. Here I am finishing out that bottom row and I will also start brick parting the row above and brick parting is basically putting that line directly above the braid so that those braids fall between the other braids and it adds more volume. Here you can see the brick parting up close, how the parts fall in between the parts below it and right now I'm going to show you guys how I just braid before these um knotless soft locks so all i do is i divide it into three not like the triangles i did before and then i just go ahead and braid i tuck one side under the other and then after i make sure the base is secure i braid down and honestly for soft locks it's best for your client to braid further down so that when they are taking it out they're able to pull out the full braid and not pull out like their hair if that makes sense it's better to braid all the way down i know when taking out my hair and just braiding at the base and twisting the rest of the way down i accidentally cut off some of that twisted part and i swore i would never do that again so okay now once i start parting for the rest of the hair the first thing that i'm gonna do is make a part directly down the middle of her head from like the bridge of her nose using that as a guide you see me going to the front and making sure that it's straight it don't be afraid to stand in front of your client make sure that she has that bust down middle part <laughs> make sure she has a middle part um but yeah i'm using gel to make sure that part is clean and you'll see me go back and forth just to make sure that this part is straight and that it aligns with one like her nose and then again at the nape of like the um the middle of the nape of her neck
here I am going ahead and parting out her edges so I don't have to do this later while and I can just focus on like the braiding and the parting um, I part out edges differently from my clients I ask them whether or not they like edges um, because I am in Athens not everybody wants to have those IG edges and then after I do that I can get into doing my sections for real if you are new to parting it's best to use like the comb to part out those five sections honestly i did the comb for to like eyeball it but i usually i use the sections below and base it off that size usually like the sections you made below that ear to ear mark will be the same sections throughout the all like through the head like the sizing the height of that section and it'll help you see how i'm looking down and seeing if it matches the section below um, I think that's what you should go by instead of like using the rat tail comb But if that is hard for you go ahead and use the rat tail comb and eyeball it that way But for me, I just make sure it looks similar to the section below it and I do one side And then I do the other side and because I divide it into two It's a lot easier to part and it's a lot easier for me to watch my lines as I work And then after that all I'm doing is brick parting my way through her whole head Now this is how it looks after it's completely done. I feel like it looks pretty neat. All the parts look pretty similar, you know, trying to get it as perfect as possible, but I don't think perfection exists, but you know, I'm gonna try. Um, but yes, this is how it looks after, and then we can go in and start adding the locks. Here I am adding in the first row, and then after that, I'm gonna slow it down and show y'all exactly how I do it. And this is just me admiring my work after the first row. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this on two braids. Um, so we're going to first start off by getting your locks. Now these are the locks that I make and I sell on my website. Um, they will be dropping this Saturday, March 4th. You know how to drop that in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the locks an inch or more away from the base of the braid. You can install it further, but I just did an inch for right now. As I go up, I do install it further away from the base just so that um, the locks lay how I want them to, if that makes sense. Now after that, you're going to take the wrapping hair and apply it at the base of the locks and then use your crochet needle to pull it through and then we're going to get into the wrapping portion. So you wrap two times tight at the base just to make sure it's secure and then after that you can you wrap you not can you wrap loosely down so that you don't put too much tension in like the wrapping hair and it gives it a more natural look that way so you add tension when you wrap at the base but as you go down you loosen it up so that you can have that natural texture of that wrapping hair so we're going to do it again um pull it through wrap tight at the base and then as you go down as you go down you loosen it and you wrap a lot more freely and you know that butterfly method that surfaced a while ago i use that as well just a little bit to add texture to the locks and that's how i get the locks to look like they're coming straight from the root and then as your hair grow out, grows out it gets a lot more natural Now here I am finishing off this row 
and then I'm going to do a couple more and then I'm going to slow it down and show you guys again how I wrap from the roots because I think that's the most crucial part, the wrapping. That's how you get it to look natural. So I'm going to slow it down again later on and show you guys how I wrap. This is just um, an appreciation video for how flat it looks. It looks great. It looks like from the scalp. Now here is me um, wrapping the hair again. I specifically wanted to show you guys how to wrap the hair when you guys purchase my locks because some of the curls in the locks are closer up and if your hair extends further than that curl, you're not supposed to wrap over the curl. You're supposed to take the curl out as you wrap and then continue going. So I wanted to show you guys how I did that um so that you guys know how you guys are supposed to do that so i'm gonna wrap a bit way down like i did before like i showed you guys before and then this is me wrapping now before um when i get to that curl i don't wrap over it i take it out and then i clip it up and then i continue wrapping and when i wrap what gives it that texture is just adding your thumb to add um those little like messy parts if that makes sense like make it messy um it's supposed to look natural like don't have it looking too clean and then this is just me finishing out the rest of the locks and then you'll see um the finished product in the next few clips Now this is another crucial part to like soft locks and faux locks and just having it be um loose smooth and natural i just feel like it loosens it up i'll say that it loosens up your locks because you wrap so tight at the roots is adding foam and then using a hair dryer to dry it so make sure you add enough foam that the roots of her hair your client's head is a little wet and then go in with the hair dryer to just like loosen it up it's i feel like it's the same thing as like dipping braids in water but yeah it's the equivalent to dripping dipping braids in water that is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys would like to purchase these locks they drop on my website this saturday march 4th at 5 p.m